Let's do it. Yeah. So obviously here we got this um, like like sale olive uh, box, Jordan one box. We got the pink um, shoe paper, obviously with the cactus jack, the Travis Scott like sad face, which I don't understand why he has that. If you guys know anything about like Travis Scott shoes, he has like this uh, sad face logo on it, which is like. Are you really sad? You know, it's like you're a gajillionaire. Nike, like you have your own sneaker with Nike and you like, you know, you were sleeping with Kylie Jenner for God knows how long. It's like, are you, how, how sad could you be? Right, Shiv? Right? You know Travis Scott? My girlfriend's right here. You know Travis Scott? Yeah, who's Travis Scott? You know who Travis Scott is? Yes, I know who oh, okay. Scott is. He, so this is his logo. You see that, some un, that's, that frowny face? But he's not sad. He's got a million dollars. He's got his own shoe line, and he's ba he's banging Kylie Jenner. How can he be sad? You know, it's it's kind of false advertising. You don't think this is a sad face? I think it's like the face of like John White. No one can oh. wait. Can you come in here? Can you come in here? Click. No one can hear what the fuck you're saying. You can come in. It's fine. Why are you sticking? <laughs> like it's a fucking civil war. What, what were you gonna say? Wearing a sports bra. Oh my God! It's 2024. No one wears bras anymore. 2023. No one, girls don't wear bras anymore. It's the head of a doll that you buy from the dollar store and give to your nephew. Yeah, but the whole point is like, why would he? Why would his logo be something sad when his life is so good? You know, it's just non-transparent. All right, it's inauthentic to me. Anyways, so we got the pink shoe paper. With all the Travis, this is like every Travis Scott shoe has the same kind of pink um, paper. And here we go. Let's look at the shoe. There we go, baby. There's one. There's the right that I already laced up a little bit. And here comes the lefty, the left nut. Here we go. Right. Again, you know what's crazy again 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 when i first opened the box and i saw these my initial reaction was like ah they're not they're not that nice like again like it's the same thing when i saw the photos i was like ah shit they're they're not that nice and now that i've had these at the crib and i've been looking at them for like i don't know four or five days i think they're so i think they're really nice these shoes are kind of like seltzer water, you know? Like, when I first had seltzer water, I was like, what the fuck? This is stupid. It's it's water with bubbles? And now it's all I drink. I drink, like, five cups a day. Um, these are, too. Like, I saw the pictures. I was like, these are these are not that great. I'll pass. And then I kept seeing them online. I got them. And then when I got them in person, the same. I, I, I was thinking, like, maybe I should just return them or, or just sell them. And then um, I keep staring at them every day. I'm like, these are pretty hot. What do you think about these, Shivy? Do you like these? She says she likes them. She's just a lot. She's just trying to make me feel better. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I'll see. I feel so bad. I I feel bad whenever I do the podcast when she's home. I feel like I feel like I feel like the patriarchy, you know, where I'm like, you know, I gotta do my podcast, so you gotta hide in a room and and uh, not listen. Um. Anyways, so yeah. <sighs> It, I I just can't even explain. It. I'm a lot. I'm a, I'm at a weird loss for words with these. It's like like I said. It's like when they first came out, I wasn't a fan, and now I literally think they might be one of my favorite Travis Scott releases. You know, it's hard to say because like I think the fragments, like no matter what, are like the the best looking one, the fragment lows. But in a different way, these hit. I, I really do love the, like, kind of, like, reverse panda thing going on here. And if you guys don't know, the Nike Dunk Panda is, like, it's um, a black and white dunk. The, le the, um, the side panels, like, right here are black. The toe box is white. But these are like, kind of reverse. And there's something about the, the, um, the side panel, the white side panel and the black toe box. There's something I really, that just sticks out to me and actually kind of looks more panda-y than the than the actual panda you know but yeah just taking a look at these um 
these this toe box here is suede. The the leather around the shoe is uh it's 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 this weird it's leather, but it's like really soft and smooth. It almost kind of feels like um suede in a way. I know that sounds that sounds ridiculous, but it's a very buttery leather. And it's a it's a better quality leather than like you get with like a Jordan like a normal non Travis Scott collaboration. Like all those leather all the leather on like the fours and the ones that are coming out. They're all like really stiff and hard. And for and this this leather is definitely way better, way butter more buttery. Um obviously you got the olive backwards swoosh that's suede as well. Um on the left shoe um, on the right shoe, you have like the Air Jordan Wings logo on the back. And then on the left shoe, it's the Travis Scott face, but it's actually a smiley face. It's not a frowny face, which that makes more sense to me. You know, I'd be pretty happy if I had stuck my dong and Kylie Jenner. Um, and it comes with three laces. It comes with olive laces, black laces, red laces. I personally think the white laces look the best on it. Um, I've seen pictures with the olive and the red. The red just looks too flashy. Um, and uh, the olive, I think the olive looked okay. I don't know. But I like the white. It pop, To me, it makes it pop more. And when I, um, when I would see the pictures of Travis wearing them online, they were all white lace. So I think the white looks best. Um, yeah, man. I don't know what it's called. Uh, also, the bottoms are, as you can see, they're, uh, they're olive there too. I don't know what this phenomenon is called where you just like you see something enough times um, you want it. Maybe I can Google it. There's got to be a word for it. Because um, this is a great example of that. When you see something so many times you want it. Let's see. Frequency illusion. Is this what it is? Let's see. Frequency illusion is also known as the, the what the fuck is it? Bader Minoff phenomenon or frequency bias is a cognitive bias referring to the tendency to notice something more often after noticing it for the first time, leading to the belief that it has an increased frequency of an occurrence. That is not what I'm talking about. Um, let's see. What is the Bader mean? Wait, wait, what? So, what is the Bader Minhoff effect? I don't know. Okay. Um. It says scientifically, the phenomenon is thought to be due to a type of cognitive bias in which the brain prioritizes new information and focuses more attention on it. This can result in this. I, I, this is not what it is. this is not what I'm talking about. Um, no, see this. OK, so this is more, I think, when you see something enough. Wait, is there a new word for, for when you hear about it or learn something completely new to you and you suddenly start seeing or. Oh, OK, so th I think what this is, is when. You learn about something and then you automatically start seeing it everywhere, right? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a phenomenon where here I see here red. Where the hell did it go? Red car phenomenon. Okay. All right. I lost it. <laughs> this is the worst podcast ever. Worst podcast. I'm so sorry, guys. I suck. Oh, too many dicks. Um, all right. I don't know. There's there's something about it where if you guys know, uh, let me know what it is. When you see something so many times in advertise, I guess it's, it's an advertising term where you see something enough and eventually you like cave in and buy it. That's what the fuck this is. Um but yeah, I I I, uh, I I I I dig them now, man. I I, I love them. Um, I guess you could do that. I mean, I guess you could do that to about anything, right? If you see something enough, you eventually want to want to buy it or do it. There's got to be a word for it. Anyways, all right. I won't. I'm not gonna fucking go into my mental spiral in the middle of the podcast. But yeah, so I caved in. 
bought a pair of jo- uh, Jordan one Travis Scott low olives. I love them, and um, on a scale of one to ten, um, I'll give them. Uh, I haven't worn them yet, but I know tra- uh, Jordan one lows are very comfortable, very wearable. Um, so, but the only thing about Jordan one lows is that they are kind of flat footed. And when you wear them around long enough, it does kind of, does kind of, uh, get a little hurtful. Um, just like my ex and, uh, just like my dad. <laughs> so I'll, I'll give them a nine and or what else do we got for hype? It's obviously a 10, um, for just the way it looks, like I said, man, it's just like, it's, it's just yeah, I don't know. It's like I'm entranced by them. Like at first, I thought I I, I can't explain it. So I'll I'll give them a nine because I can't say like the fragment ones are just like there's it, it makes sense to me. But these don't don't for some reason they don't make sense to me because even olive is not you know what it is. Olive is not even like a color I like. It's just um something about the panels and stuff. I I I can't explain it. So I'll give it a nine for that. And uh, yeah. So I guess yeah, let's say let's say nine out of ten for these. Nine out of ten. Um Yeah. Happy to have these in my uh collection. 